hammered soon. Okay, yeah, I know it's just horrible. But you know what? They have to manage um, assets that uh, are inflation heads or uh, what's it called? The canaries in the coal mine, such as gold, silver, right? If that uh, indicates, you know, that the infl that um, and it's going to get inflation is getting away from them, right? Because that's a, the biggest canary in the coal, coal mine for the wealthy people. And they don't care. Well, the most wealthy people don't care about uh, seeing what the underneath the pit, the underneath the, the ground. They just know and they just see, hey, uh, is the price right? Is the price low enough? Yes, it's low. So it's OK, then everything's fine. They they use price as a barometer. But and because they only look at it as a barometer, right? Um, it, you can mess with the barometer, right? And so that's what they've done, right? If they know people are, 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 are looking at price as a barometer, all you have to do is mess with the barometer and you've, you've got the, the issue solved, right? And you're thinking, well, how's that possible? I can't, I can't. Yeah, it's because of supply and demand. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> that uh, limited supply makes it difficult for you to monkey with price, but not quite. It's not the only solution. To monkey with the price, of course, right? You can, um, you know, um, throw in derivatives, right? So do you avoid people from actually um, buying the actual underlying asset? They only bet against the price. You, um, you get um, the the um, the companies that are storing the asset to um, to borrow against them, to borrow against the asset, and promise, like for example, the Federal Reserve could obviously have agreements with somebody and say, okay, listen, buy from them borrow from them Bitcoin and get create a contract that's paid the guarantees that they will get the Bitcoin back or the equivalent or the equivalent price. And so then they could sell that into the market, right? In order to push the prices down, right? They can do a lot of things, right? Because legally you can't, um, you can't write up a contract saying, hell, you got to give me back those Bitcoins. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. No, no. Legally, you can only um, uh, give back dollars. Right, create a contract where you give back dollars, and that's that. On a de case of a default, based on the price. So, of course, this is the issue, right? We, this is how they can like manipulate price down, and it becomes a circle, a disaster circle, because the person buying it might be somebody new who deposited back into a place where they're actually going to just sell it back into the market, and that's how they manage the price. So, the, your best thing to do is to withdraw your bitcoins from the exchange right and not leave it there